though at Health Watch we don't tend to hear that much from young people and so we decided to start a project called Youth Watch. We uh, started working with a group of students um, at John Curl High School. Um, I met with them on a number of occasions um, and we discussed various topics. So the most important topics to us were positivity and focusing on the things that make you happy and not the things that you will worry about. So in Youth Watch we've been talking about how we can make our mental health good at school and outside of school. Like I think a few weeks ago when it was mental health week we walked around the classes in lower school saying three tips of the day, what to do, so drink lots of water, talk to your friends, walk the dogs, just enjoy yourself and relax and just be happy. We then discussed what they could uh, ask other peers and how to engage with them and so they decided to come up with a number of questions and a survey that they could go around all the other tutor groups and ask other people their opinion. They chose the topic of mental health because they were all really keen on this topic. Oh, it's been amazing, it's been a wonderful opportunity Amy and we've really enjoyed you coming into school, um, into John Curl. Um, so always at John Curl we've had um, a major focus on mental health. So the head teacher Mr Griffiths as well as all staff are completely committed to um, positive mental wellbeing and ways of supporting children. So Health Watch has brought a greater essence to the whole school actually. Um, just from seeing the young people being filmed today and their reactions to the work that Health Watch has done within John Curl and you know the new Youth Watch group has been superb and they are so committed to helping other students throughout the school and raising the profile of mental health not only within John Curl but also across the community. You know these are some of our newest students into the school today only six months into John Curl and I think they've done a grand job. It's so nice to hear uh, voices and the engagement that we've seen today has been has been fantastic. It's been really fun, and uh, it's just it's so useful as someone who's involved in commissioning services to hear actually how it is on the ground, to hear what are the concerns from young people, and actually what could we be doing better. Yeah, if you remember the first session that we had with them, they were very, very quiet. And then as the weeks have gone on, they've become much more vocal. And as you can see from the filming today, actually, you know, they're very, very keen on, on asking those questions of Dr. Linane. And um, they want answers. And yeah. isn't that what Youth Watch, Health Watch is all about? You know, yeah. finding out, um, signposting, getting the support and help that you need and surely student voice is so important for the future. I think it's really good because usually people just listen to the adults and don't really think much of a children's voice. I hope they've found it useful, I yeah. certainly have. It's been, it's been challenging, I've had some really <laughs> difficult questions but it's been really interesting and um, I've just been hugely impressed at how, how engaged and how um, interested they are in the subject. You know, I, I kind of live and breathe this stuff but actually it's really important that people kind of have an awareness and uh, that we know where we're going with, with mental yeah. health particularly. So hopefully it's been useful and a chance to, to show that we're accessible, that we, we want to get involved and that if we pick things up early we can do something better. Not at all actually. I, I see it as a benefit to my workload because um, if it can help one young person to be signposted, to have some direction, to ask Dr Lenane questions that maybe they were unsure of previously, then surely that's got to be a benefit to the school. Um, I would say do it. I mean, it's, it's been an absolutely positive experience from day one. And as you can see from the children who've given their comments, you know, they've really enjoyed the filming, um, the comments, the help and support they've given to others, the signposting to other agencies. Um, they're very committed, and I'm sure other schools would, would see similar in their own students. Um, you know, we're so grateful for the work that you've done with us. Definitely get involved. I think it's worked really well with John Curl. It's been uh, really... A positive way of uh, raising the conversation about mental health and I would say it's really important for other schools to get involved and to kind of follow this lead. Well I think it's a really good opportunity, opportunity to take because first of all if you have any queries or worries you can speak to the group and you might be friends with them or you can make new friends while being in the group 
and I think it's really good, especially if you're a bit nervous, like, oh, I'm not sure if I should. Just, if you don't know, go and try it. It's always just good to try something, because you never know. Youth Watch is a really good project for young people for a number of reasons. It might be that they are interested in a career in health and social care and so this is a way of them getting to find out a lot more about certain details of certain areas of health and social care. Or it could be they've had personal experience of using services in the past and they'd like to show people what their experience has been like in order to help others. It could just be that they want to find out more about uh, health and social care and about different uh, conditions so they're able to help peers uh, who might be suffering or might be experiencing challenging periods of their time. So yeah, it can help um, with a number of issues like that. It's really useful as well uh, for young people to build their confidence in terms of speaking in front of other people, in terms of speaking in front of maybe a camera, as we've, as you can see we've done video and media work. So there's lots of different things um, for young people to get involved in and have new experiences. The best part about Youthwatch is all the people that come, they're really nice. The best thing about Youthwatch is it encourages you to be more confident. The best thing about Youth Watch is that you get to have your say in what you think's right. The best thing about Youth Watch is having fun. I mean, everything, health and watch, or watch or health, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, it's fun to be with your friends and everyone. The best thing about Youth Watch is that they help our mental health. The best thing about Youth Watch, I think, is getting you out of lessons. <laughs> <laughs> The best thing about Youth Watch is knowing there's people there to help. The best thing about Youth Watch is the support that they can give you if you're feeling down. And the best thing about Youth Watch is that you get to have a student voice in the community. Right. The best thing about Youth Watch is that we learn about different support services. I think that Youth Watch is a very good thing to be a part of. I've learnt loads about how I can improve my mental health and I've also learnt loads about how I can help my friends with theirs and I also think that they have benefited that as well. So we've had a great experience down at John Curl uh, with working with the young people. It's been amazing to see them develop over the weeks and really become confident in, in talking about the, the topic. If, you, if any other schools would like to get involved, we're really keen to work with more schools um, and see how it can benefit your students. As I said, it's really flexible in terms of what your young people want to get out of the experience. Uh, we can develop the project to fit your needs. So if you think your school or college would benefit from working with us on this project, please get in touch.